very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, man, I mean, what, what, what else is there? I could go on all day, but you know how it is, don't you, Les? Uh, not really. I mean, what's your name? What do you call about? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I, I'm Maria, you know, Maria, like Mamma Mia. Only different, you know, but, you know, men. M-E-N. <laughs> oh, it's a dirty word. Only There's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcasts are all the same, aren't you? I mean, I heard about you. You're always at a boys' night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What are you talking about? I, I, I'm married. Have uh, one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet. Take a goddamn seat. So the laundry won't pay any protection, huh? The triads think they can mess with me? Let's teach these would-be tough guys what it means to be a tough guy. Yeah, no sorry, Ma. Yes, Ma. I want you to destroy their laundry vans and mangle any triad gimp that gets in your way. Eight Ball can supply you with what you're gonna need. He's on the radio? Well, probably not. Um, you're listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller, what's your name? Jeff from Buck. Hello, Jeff, what's up? I wanted to tell you and your listeners about a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make a difference. There's a rally tomorrow evening at the park, starting at 7. Although we'll be painting banners and... Town Hall. Last all the people have spoken. They have said no, not in my town. So folks, if you're listening and want to make a difference, get yourself down to the park and prepare to bring democracy back to the people. So, what's this rally about, Jeff? It's about people standing up and being counted. It's about the future. It's about telling those morons and the students, no thanks, not in my town. Not while I have a breath in my body and hope in my soul. I will not, I cannot let this pass. Let what pass? It's about grabbing the town by the ball and saying, listen, son, I have to put up or shut up. No more, what is the night nice side? No more easy solutions to difficult problems. It's about what it means to be an American. It's about giving something back. Giving what back, Jeff? Hope, dreams, belief. Belief in what? I mean, look, Jeff, I, I admire your passion. Really, I do, but what will people be marching for? What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people walking side by side as brother marching. There's only one thing on their mind. The chance to make a difference. Bring your friends. Nothing shows a man how much you mean to him more than the chance to walk together for justice. I people should do this. What is it about? Look, look. Do you want to help or not? I don't... special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Kind of like a romantic cruise, but he can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox, what's on your mind? Oh, wow, I can't believe it. Do <laughs> you have a question? Dude, I call every day and I never get through. Amazing, you do a great show, man. <laughs> Thanks, what's, uh, what, what, what's up? Oh, man, I'm serious, really great. You're like a total inspiration. And exactly what have I inspired you about? Well, okay, right now I live at home, but pretty soon, like, next week, dude, I'm moving out. It's uh, the big 4-0, and it's... It... That's why I went to broadcasting school. All right, when we come back from these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts from the ground up at Aris.
I got all your own defenses. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100. Laundry has agreed to pay. You did real good, kid. Go collect the cash and bring it back here. Watch out for the triads. They may be shoving a firecracker up your ass. But don't take no crap. Nobody, I mean nobody, messes with Tony Cipriani. Come back here and pick me up. Then we'll all drive over to the boss's place together. Those triads, they don't know when to stop. They want a war, they got a war. Now get going. Caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, Kung Fu movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attempt I've found is to just run away. That way you would still fear in your opponent. 
never know when you might descend from the raptors. Like a bat! I don't want to hear about no tofu running away. I want to learn about being a ninja. Is that? Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, I once thought like you before my master who took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with raw, organic vegetables. Just look at me. I can tear a phone book in half on my bare toes. In fact, that's it. I can easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two inch thick composite. How you doing, kid? Finish. There's three drawers, and knowing this station, it costs hundred dollars. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks, and now I shall make it. Dragon stance. Hey ya! Oh! 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 Lando! Lando! I think I hurt my hand, but Kinky's all bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Lando, mockery will get you nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you now. Oh, I breathe easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. Okay, very funny, Lando. It's easy to make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the funk sway in here. It's downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes you talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Lando. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you take him up from? The state even? And that wacko you had going on about killer bees? What a moron. I mean, just read a newspaper. No fancy crap. Soda pop, Roswell, it's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well wear a set like this. Propaganda plan. Come on. Do you honestly believe NSA echelon systems is already coming to emails and recording conversations? It's all designed to frighten us so we don't complain about our rights being taken away in the name of fighting whatever boogeyman they come up with today. Uh, well, I mean, you realize that the government listens to this station, and, and if they weren't paying particular attention to you before, they're probably going to be following you now. Oh, yeah. Look, they already got me once, but never again. Do <laughs> you have anything else to say? Yeah. Free Kevin! Oh. You did good back there, kid. Real good. Come on, let's introduce you to the Don. Hey, Luigi! Oh, my girls have been missing you so long, Salvatore. You've been away too you long. You tell them once this unfortunate business is taken care of, we'll all go down to the club and celebrate, okay? Here's my boy. How you doing, Pop? You got yourself a good woman yet? Hey, your mother, God bless her soul, would be turning over in her grave to see you without a wife. I know, Pop. I'm working on it. Tony! How's your mama? She's a great woman, you know. Strong. Firenze. She's good. Fine. Terrific. Terrific. Now listen, you guys, you go inside while I talk to our new friend here. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. Where? Toxicated. 